Here's your inaugural medal for your first 5K. My first 5K race. We are starting to deflate a little bit. We need a post-race snack. Woo! All right, it's a beautiful day out here and we're gonna go for a little walk. I signed up for my very first race. It's a five kilometer race and it's here where it's gonna start. It's benefiting our hospital, which you can see right behind me. This is really exciting for me because I just started learning to run. And now I will be running a five kilometer turkey trot themed race called the Run for Hope. So the Run for Hope is being hosted by the Fraser Valley Healthcare Foundation in support of the Fraser Canyon Hospital, which is our local hospital here in Hope, BC. So let's talk about the history of the turkey trot. In 1896, that's 127 years ago, the YMCA in Buffalo, New York held the very first turkey trot on Thanksgiving Day as a fundraiser. The inaugural race was eight kilometers long and only attracted six participants and just four of them crossed the finish line. Despite its small start, they held the race again the next year and the year after that and every year after that until present day. This makes the turkey trot the oldest continuous foot race in the United States. States. In the 1980s, costumes started appearing, and over time the vibe of the race has morphed into a fun, family-friendly event that has spread across the United States and now into Canada. Anyway, the turkey trot has become one of the most popular races in North America. Some see it as an opportunity to work up an appetite for dinner, work off their pumpkin pie, or fundraise for various charities in need. Either way, it promotes togetherness rather than hardcore competition, which is what Thanksgiving's all about. So what time is it? So it is just after 7 a.m. in the fall, so it's still a bit dark out. So I need my vest, keys, I have my phone, I have my water. All right, so this is my new fancy dancy running vest, which I got off of Amazon. It lets me run hands-free. It's got lots of pockets, it's stretchy, I love it. I don't do a lot of stretches. I just kind of mildly stretch it out a bit. All right, you're fully stretched. Bye. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> I've made it to the top and I get to sit and enjoy this lovely view for a couple of minutes while I cool off. Some days it's so it feels so easy to get up here and other days like today it has been just grueling and I'm gonna sit here for about two minutes and I'm gonna run back down. And the run down is the best part because you just let gravity take you. Whoop. It's a little bit loose and this is why I love my trail shoes. They've got such awesome grip that they're lightweight for running and I am actually able to run down this. This is the best part. <laughs> Home stretch. It's the hardest part, this tiny hill. <laughs> yes, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the commotion? The cookies came in the mail. <laughs> it's my turkey costume. It's battery operated. Now, I'm a little worried about the feet. I can't run outside with this. So there's like a pocket that this goes into, and then this is like USB. This is hilarious. This is very complicated. Right? And then, oh wait, where's the switch? And it just starts blowing up. So I've got these beautiful legs. I am the jockey riding 
the turkey. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. Okay, oh, there we go. This fan is like cooling me in the back. This is way harder than it looks. <laughs> I just had an email telling me that um, someone has donated. So I'm pretty sure I know who this is from. Find the website. All right, here we are. Wait, what? It wasn't Jay. <laughs> that has just made my morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mike O. That is so awesome. So that means that we've made the goal of $500. I am so grateful to everyone who's donated. This is just awesome. We will now be able to support the hospital a little bit more because it's a great little hospital and I'm so grateful to you for helping me help them. So thank you. All right, it is race day and Mel is just getting ready here. Look what came just in time. Oh, looks like it'll fit. I don't even know what these little strap things are for. So I was having trouble keeping it from falling. So I went to the dollar store and found some suspenders. Hopefully they'll hold my costume up better. You gotta wear the bow tie too. Uh, I don't know about that. All right, All right, good stuff. I don't know why, but I'm a bit nervous. Nervous yeah. excitement? I don't know, a bit nervous. Off we go. Okay, Melissa. And we just need to complete the, uh, oh, the waiver. The waiver as well. My running partner just got here. There you are. How's it going? Good. How are you? Is it turkey time? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I got here and I'm like, oh no, it's yeah. happening. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. Yay. I'm so excited for you. This is your first race. My first race. All right. I'm ready to turkey it up. I feel like we're going really slow, but my watch tells me otherwise. <laughs> Woo! Just coming up on the halfway point for the two kilometer. 0.15. This is where we get turned around. Here's our canine friend. Woo! We're feeling it. There it is, three kilometers. Woo! One and a half kilometers left to go. Feels good. Oh, oh. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm I'm sweating so bad. Like I thought that we were gonna trip and we didn't. We had a couple, you know, malfunctions. You can see I'm like on the toes, you know. And Christine wore through hers. It was really fun, and we brought a lot of smiles to people's faces. A lot of quizzical faces in people in cars driving past us. They were like, what? Success. Success. Oh. oh, thank you. Yeah.
Oh my gosh. Here's your uh, Thank you. Inaugural medal for your first 5K. My first 5K race. And you're on it. Our oh yeah. Turkey. <laughs> the turkey. So my name is Rob. I'm with the Fraser Valley Healthcare Foundation. Uh, today we had to uh, run for hope. We typically hold the run first or second week of October. The funds this year raised are for accessible tables for our residents at the Fraser Canyon Lodge. So they can come to the table and have meals, have social time and be included. We've been doing this run for five years now. One year got smoked out, but we're five years in and every year it grows just a little bit more. We're hoping to extend the run to a five and a 10K portion in the very near future. We need a post-race snack and where better to go than the Rolling Pin Bakery. <laughs> Hi, hey, you did it. we completed. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we just fit through the door. and then loop it around and into the, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> the salmon are spawning when you're here and it's the time of year they start dying and it stinks. All right. <laughs> Cause like the crotch here is like right at my knees and it's really a problem when I'm trying to run. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh my God.